everyone it's Loki monster here and we're starting out today in Heartwood so you just want to use your travel menu and head to Heartwood Forest and we're gonna look for this guy Ludro here and this quest is for a new item which actually happens to be one of the lost items that we have been trying to get into game it's uh, one of Phyton's items that he created but we're not going to actually start with Ludro we are actually going to have to go find his broken axe first. So you want to head on down here in order to start your quest and find this little axe sitting here and click on it. And once you click on it, you just need to accept that and then run back to Ludro again. Now this quest isn't just for the axe, it is also to unlock crafting for the Wooden Warrior set. Well you might be thinking I earned the Wooden Warrior set playing through Heartwood. But the Wooden Warrior set was only available as a one time thing and if you deleted this set you were never able to get it again. So if you did delete it, now you can get it back again. So once you have the axe, hand that into Ludro and he's going to send you to look for a smith because he broke his axe on the magical lumber in the hardwood floors and he needs a stronger axe. So we're going to travel to Babylon and Yogur's Inn and we're going to talk to Yogur here. So the first thing Yogur needs is an axe to use as a blueprint. So he tells you that Mustang will have one in Town Square. So we're just going to travel to Town Square and go talk to Mustang. So just bring up your travel menu, hit Battle On, and then Battle On Town Square. And Mustang is over here on the left hand side in this little kiosk. Here he has the arena cross. And then you just want to check his level 3 to 27 items and you will find the Ar Ar Iron Arena Axe for 200 gold. So you want to buy this axe right here. And then we're going to take this axe back to see Yogur in Yogur's Inn. So again, battle on to Yogur's Inn. And I should have forewarned you about spoilers. This whole entire video is a spoiler. Anyways, now we, we handed that in. We're going to need 10 ores as well. And he gives us a hint that they're crystal and they're found in Doomwood. So we're going to head to first to Doomwood Forest. So just travel Doomwood and then Doomwood Forest. And then you want to turn to your right and head off this direction. And you're going to the Cave of Unrest, which is right here. Now I'm going to run this private in unscaled, but you can run it scaled or unscaled, but you might want to run it in private because what you're actually going to be doing is looking for these little crystals and clicking on them. Now you should be able to find 10 in one run and then you just have to head back to Yelgers in again. So now that we have all of our ore, we're just going to hand this in. And our next quest is to craft verdant ingots out of the ore and also find a diamond dean and a big gem in order to sharpen this blade. Now it does give us a hint that the diamond dean might be somewhere around some dragons. But first before we go anywhere we want to craft the verdant ingots right now and they will take about 15 minutes to do which is more than enough time to gather the next two materials. So first we're going to get the Diamond Dean. So we're going to head to the Dragon's Graveyard. And then we're going to go straight back here and we're going to Ashen's Tomb. Now it's a little tricky to find it. It's actually up on this little ledge right here. And it's easy to miss. I just skip over here and this is the tomb. Now, we are going to have to play through the first two sections of the tomb, but once you get to the third section, it will look like this. Just make your way across, okay, I got stuck on the mushrooms, and then just come down and get rid of the mobs here. And once they're all gone, use the glowing exit as a reference, and then head over to this rib cage here. Now you'll see a chest here and on the ground in front of it is a small pile. Click on that pile and you'll find your little diamond Dean. And once we have that, we're going to travel to Green Guard 
and the green guard forest but we're not staying here we're just using this to get through here and we're heading to Fort Sneed. Now, I'm not sure the command slash command join Fort Sneed might work. But once you're here, you don't want to go up the fort. You want to come around the back. I should have probably gone around the tree the other direction. Hindsight's 2020. But at the back, you will find this pile of stuff. And there's a big white diamond here. And just click on that there. And once again, just bring up your travel menu back to Babylon and Yogurt's in to hand this in to Yogurt. So we're going to first claim our last piece here. So now our quest is complete and we'll just turn that in. And now we have yet another quest to shape the blade and we need acid and dark resin for this. So again, you want to start with crafting the blade. So you want to click on shaped blade. So while that's doing it, you have 15 minutes to go and do the rest of these ones as well. So for dark resin, head to green guard and the green guard forest. And again, we're not staying here. We're going up to this little altar here and just going to jump up and click on it. And now we're in the shadow guard. Yes, minus the animations. And you just want to kill Trevenja here. And once you've killed him, then you're going to go to our next location. So this time we are going to go to the mysterious islands and we're going to go to Lelosha and then we're going to go on the ship and talk to Captain Rhubarb and we're going to go to the Lelosian challenges and the Bracken's retaliation. And I'm just going to run it unscaled again. You can run it scaled, unscaled, it's up to you. And once he's dead, you will have your sea acid. So you just want to head back to once again Balon and Yogurt's in. So the first thing we want to do is grab our crafting for our quest which is not quite done and I'm just going to use 25 DC and speed that up so I don't have to wait and now once I've handed it in I have to finish the blade which means I have to put a handle on it. He says what do you mean you don't have a handle? So first thing, we're going to finish crafting the blade. So we're just going to go to the crafting again. And this is instantaneous. You can claim it right away. So now that you have that finished blade, and instead of handing it in here, you're going to actually have to take it to Hardwood and Hardwood Forest. And we're going to go find... And there we're going to check around the Dragon Slayer camp and should be able to find Ludro somewhere wandering around that area. So you just want to hand that in. And of course, now we need the handle. So first we need very tough lumber and vines and leather. So for the leather, just kill any of the wolves or the Bracco bears in Heartwood. For the vines, just kill the Carnivalings, not the ones by the entrance, they never count. And then finally, for the big piece of lumber, you will find at the back half of Heartwood here, this big huge tree floating around. Now he'll be in anywhere in this area around here at the back by the entrance of the Dreadful Dungeon. Now unfortunately he was always there when I got here so I don't know if he spawns randomly on a timer or if he replaces a mob. So this might take you a little longer and you might have to kill some of the mobs in the area in order to get it to spawn. You're gonna have to actually pick up the lumber bundle and then you can hand this in. Now I unfortunately have a very hard time filming in Heartwood with my old tablet which I'm using currently because my good ones broken and uh, so I did miss the handing that in and getting this new quest but for this quest you're going to have to craft the shaped handle which I've actually got complete here and you're going to have to also get some oily loach now oily loach is in doomwood and the isle of the dead and you're going to be fishing and this is a new fish for Doomwood, so nobody will have any, but they're available in all of the nodes in Doomwood as an alternate green fish. 
So you will have to be able to fish at least a 240 node, which I believe is about a level 15, 16 fishing. And once you have all 10 of those, you can return to Heartwood and hand them in with Luro. Now you got your final quest. Unfortunately, I did lose that footage, but you're going to get the axe from him and it's going to give you a quest to test it out. And you just have to go around Heartwood, chopping down trees. You can follow the arrow in the upper right hand corner. Now, once you've completed that, you will unlock this wooden warrior uh, shop as well as some quests. Now, there are two versions of the axe, the Living Grove axe, you'll have to actually craft this one here. And at the very bottom of the list, you'll see the wood axe for zero gold. This is the one you will earn during the quest line when you hand in your final quest. Now, the rest of the set looks like exactly like the original, but there is also a variation of the Living Grove Warrior shoulders that have a sparkle you can see just at the edge of the shoulders on top there. It's very hard to see. And the quality of the set has gone from being a green common set to a blue uncommon. So how do you craft these items to get the materials? You're going to have to do the chopping around repeatable quest, which is exactly the same as the final quest where you just wander around Heartwood, clicking on trees that are sparkling. And then we have a daily quest, which is to clear the grove. Now, this one you need to gather 10 wood and clear all the bugs out as well as a living vine and you have to actually head to a special dungeon that's on his menu so just click on the crystal that says head to the woodsman's grove and this grove as you can see is basically dungeons that you'll recognize from green guard and doom wood and you just have to gather up the wood from any of the trees you see sparkling and kill all of the wood bugs now I'm going to point out that this dungeon is three levels long and I'm also going to point out something special about this because this is a daily quest it is exactly the same as if you were doing the berserker class daily where if you do it the dungeon locks well this dungeon will lock the second you hand in the quest why does it matter if this dungeon locks or not because you can only do it once a day anyways to get that big chunk of wood well it's not only because the final boss here the vine boss drops some chunks of wood as well which you can farm and it's probably a lot faster to farm them this way than it is to go and chop 15 trees and run around heartwood for them because this is a pretty fairly quick dungeon to run even though it is scaled it's that this boss drops a secret pet yes this little fella named cole so if you're going to try and farm for this cute little fella, you do not want to hand in that quest until you're giving up farming for him for the day. I want to thank you for joining me and if you like my videos, please consider subscribing. I'd like to reach my goal of a thousand subs by the end of the summer and hopefully I can replace my tablet once I've monetized. Thanks for joining me. Goodbye.